warm up, do some stretches. We can start at the beginning. <laughs> well, my name is Holly Wren and I'm a portrait, commercial and advertising photographer. I should spin that either way. I work with commercial and advertising clients creating imagery for marketing, websites, TV. I occasionally work with royalty, a few celebrities, and direct with brands and commercials. So today we have a beautiful, lovely, gorgeous girl, Jenny, who's coming in to shoot with us. And we're gonna create two different looks. One where we're gonna go outside and use natural light because we are blessed with the sunshine this morning. And one where we work in the studio creating a portrait of her. And then the last thing we're gonna do is throw in a bit of Barbie-esque because the film's out, why not? But we're gonna turn her into bad Barbie. How do you define or describe somebody the difference between a good lens and a bad lens? Why do I use a Sigma Art lens over a camera brand lens? I stick my Sigma Art on my camera and I'm suddenly like, bam, okay, that made such a big difference. Okay guys, we're gonna head down to the beach and see what we can capture on these beautiful art lenses. So I'm using a 40 mil. So we're not distorting you enough to make your features look super wide, but what we're getting is a little bit more background. I think it makes a shot a little bit more characterful because rather than being absolutely perfect and being just how the human eye sees it, you have that slightly wider shot. So the 40, I feel, is like a secret in-between lens lens. I think you can, yeah, be a bit more free with this coming down a little bit. I've got my aperture at 4.55. So with portraiture, I want some fall off, but because we're just looking at sky, it's so far away that you're never actually gonna read whether that's in or out of focus. So we have a bit of an ability to keep it at F4.5, F5, so we don't get the focus exactly accurate in your eyes. We're not gonna have an out of focus eyes with a nose in focus. Is this suitable with that up for me behind you? So the great thing about reflectors is they obviously use slice natural light without the hassle of setting up a lighting system. The downside is if it's windy, you're basically holding a kite. Yeah. <laughs> and then look to me. That's good light though, Charlotte. 10 out of 10 on the light. Modeling average. <laughs> nice, and you can even be like pushing at the camera. Okay, we've got some really great stuff and I stuck on the 40 mil for the whole of the shoot outside, which is fabulous. We're heading back to the studio now to try some different focal lengths in the studio with some light and we're gonna move away from the sunshine. I always, I think, had a passion for photography that came through my family. So my granddad was, uh, a hobbyist photographer and my dad in turn picked up a SLR. As a 13 year old child I had an SLR, I used to walk around with him and take pictures of lovely scenery. And then when I grew up I got all sensible and had a proper career and at the age of 28 I would say I had a mid to late, let's say that's late 20s, crisis and I decided to quit my day job to become a photographer and I decided that I wanted to work with people and interact with people and be around people so I bought one camera and an 85mm lens and started doing portraiture. I exclusively used to shoot on my camera brand lens. As a professional I was buying my lenses separately and one day I had a 50mm that had seen its best days and I went to the camera shop that I always go to and said to them, could you sell me my camera brand lens in a 50 mil? I've found this particular lens that I want. And the gentleman said to me, well, have you considered using the Sigma? And I sort of was like, well, why, why would I use a Sigma? Is it, is it cheaper? And he was like, yes, but no, it's because it's better. This is my life. I wait around for makeup artists to do their job and then get told I've got two minutes to create a picture. So this feels like a 50 mil situation because I'm not really far away, but I'm not super close and I want most of the shot to be in focus. 
so I think I'll take a 50. See what this does for us. Oh, I do love the 50, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as you put it on, just the, the quality. Yeah, love it. I've just switched to the 85 mil as we've come a little bit closer and although the 50 can be used close up or further away, the 85 is a really flattering portrait lens close up and the fall off and the out of focus parts of the background will look really, really beautiful on the 85. So with portrait photography, in a lens what you want is not just the focus point area to be perfectly sharp and beautiful, you want all those areas of the photograph that are out of focus to be equally as beautiful. And that's something that I find that I get with the art lenses is, is that consistency across the shot. The focus is sharp and perfect and then the out of focus is beautiful and blurred and that the fall off into that is smooth. The other thing that's really great for me about the art lenses, I like to swap between lenses. So you need to know that whichever lens you switch to, you're going to have the same consistency, the same colour accuracy, and I know that going between those two, I can put the shots next to each other and they will feel similar, they'll look similar, and that's super important when you're working across a number of lenses. I'm going to use a 24 to 70 on this shot because actually we want it to look more like someone may have just picked up any old camera in a police station and taken a picture of poor Barbie. We can distort uh, the picture a little bit, which means we can get a bit closer and a little bit wider, and that will make it a bit more fun and a bit more characterful than a lens which shows it more true to life, like a 50 mil. To be fair, the, the truth of the matter is that I swapped to Sigma five years ago and since then my career has progressed. The people I've worked with, the shoots that I do have got bigger and bigger and I have never once questioned whether I should pick a different lens. In fact, I'm almost just trying to collect all the Sigma lenses <laughs> so that I have the full collection at my disposal. These lenses are so beautiful and they have elevated my work so much there's no way, I, there's anything I can say that will compare to just trying one and seeing how beautiful it is. And then you'll never go back. <laughs>